Hey, what's up Stripe Nation? Blake Albertson here with BMW Lawn Care. Today we're gonna be doing a little mulch job. I filmed some of it. Uh, let's check that out right now. today um just humid hot i had no shade all day long it's five o'clock getting home now um nice nice little day um of course the guys were out mowing in the work truck i was in this truck i rented a dingo and i i thought it'd be cool to run through the numbers real quick of this job uh not a huge job a really small job only two and a half tons of rock and I wanted to run through the numbers with you because I, I feel like these jobs are really hard to quote and I actually I, I believe that I messed up on the estimate a little bit still made money the whole thing but uh, there there was a, a one factor that I left out of the equation and I, I'll hit on that here in a second a huge shout out to today's sponsor Elemin if you guys are looking for a landscaping software you want to get to know your numbers Click the link down below. A lot of these things that I've learned is from the webinars and, and events uh, that Element puts on. So they really do a great job at making you rethink the numbers and, and how to estimate in your business. I actually learned, I, I uh, talked to the owner, Mark Bradley. He, dude, owned a ginormous landscaping company in Canada. I'm talking like monsters, like 
you guys have seen him in the videos a couple years ago, like 20, 30 million dollar. I don't know the number. He didn't disclose the number, but I've heard like, it, it's like big time. Okay. So I said, Hey, and, and I, I was actually kind of nervous to ask this, you know, cause you, these, it, when somebody owns a company like that, you think they have this aura around them, right? Like you're nervous say, Oh I, dude, I'm, I can't even afford one little machine. You guys have hundreds, right? He was so cool and he's so understanding. He was, there was no like, ha Blake, your little company, look at me. It was not like that at all. He gave me the real deal, sat down and said, all right, let's run through the numbers. And basically what we did is we figured out a, with my budget and, and my expenses and my business, how many days I would need to rent per month um, basically per year and then we just divide it out per month. How many days I need to rent a dingo f before I need to buy one, right? So like if I only used it 20 days, uh, let's say, I don't remember what it was. I, I think it wasn't something huge, like maybe 30 times a year. If I rent, sorry, that was weird. If I rent 30 days a year or more, it makes sense to buy it and just make the payments. If I went 30 days or less, and I don't remember that it was 30, it was like around there, <clears throat> then it would make sense to buy, right? So I've continued renting until I hit that amount. Real practical life things, everybody's like, just go buy a machine, just go do this. And I, I also the flip side, I understand that if I had the machine, I would be able to use it more, right? It makes sense, I get that. But again, it's just, it, it doesn't make sense at the moment, right? We're mostly maintenance, so. Um, we do rock jobs a couple times a month, like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so one day I still believe, why do I have my seatbelt on? Anyways, I, I, I think one day I'll, I, I will. Um, another thing that was really like mind blowing is building in profit to every single line item service that you're doing. So like today's job, we had like, we had like six, um, six line items, I think, <clears throat> you know, weed barrier, um, rock, a delivery fee, a rental charge, profit built in to each one of those, right? From what I got from an LMN webinar, it was like every shovel, down from your truck, trailer, to a bobcat, a dingo, down to your shovel, right? you should be getting repaid back. If it's out on the job, it's it's depreciating that asset, right? Like that asset is being worth, you're gonna have to rebuy it one day. If I go today, one day when I go, that shovel's gonna break. Just over time with use, right? So theoretically today, some part of that job is going back to buying a new shovel or a new broom. Right? Um, so like my dingo charge, <clears throat> the rental fee, I paid a rental fee, and then there's profit built into that rental fee, right? I still have to deliver the thing. Like there's just so many aspects that, that don't get accounted for typically when you're just like, if I pay $200 for a dingo, I'll charge them $200 for a dingo. But it's like, well I wasted, 20 minutes this morning picking up the dingo. I've wasted 20 minutes this evening uh, dropping it off. You know, there's gas included in that to go to and from. So like it probably cost me 250 and, and I didn't make a dollar. You know what I'm saying? So don't be afraid to build in profit. That's why you're in business, right? So to go through this job, right? Sorry for the long tangent. I've just, it's really changed my life and I'm not, I'm not joking, sponsored or not, if they never wanna do anything with me again, right? I still learned a lot um, of like business philosophy uh, from working with them and just, you know, hearing them and listening to the webinars and things like that. Anyways, this particular job, two and a half tons. I dumped it yesterday, um, just coned off a parking spot. Um, Big problem, when I got there, I didn't notice, there's two sets of doors, okay? On this set of door, the sidewalk, there was no cutout where the curb is. 
So <clears throat> I thought the dingo can go up a curb, no problem, but it's real shaky and I would drop a ton of rock and I just didn't want to play that game all day. So I took some two by fours and maybe a two by six, I think a couple two by sixes and ran up onto those two by sixes and then the curb, it just like cut the curb down a little bit and stopped that shaking so much. Worked out really well actually. Split a board just a little bit, but really smooth. Um, so first thing I did was spray all the weeds in the bed. Okay, pulled as many as I possibly could. <clears throat> and then I went one by one. So I started in the very back corner so I could still go through the bed with the dingo. I laid landscape fabric, spread the rock. Landscape fabric, spread the rock. Landscape fabric, spread the rock on it. You know what I'm saying? Because if I would just done landscape fabric the whole way, I couldn't run over in the bed with a dingo. It'd tear up the fabric. That's how I did it. The day just went like, I was doing really good at like, by 10.30, it looked like, man, I'm really rocking. And then, boom, it was three o'clock and I'm still spreading out there. So I don't know what happened. I went through like a time warp. When it's hot out and you're just working, I was like, I went through like a, I don't even know, a time machine or something, right? Um, couple little things. <clears throat> it was really tight in the sidewalk, the sidewalk, the building. I didn't really account for that, okay? Another thing I didn't account for was people. A ton of people. I knew that property had a ton of people. Today, just there was just a ton of people. I had a big machine. I'm 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 familiar with them. I use I've used them hundreds of times, right? But it's not my everyday machine. <clears throat> so you know, I, I, no matter what, I had to be really really careful, and it really consumed a ton of time. I think if I was just there hammering it out, nobody there, I think I could have got done probably two hours sooner but I had to stop the machine, move the machine, turn the machine down. It's a pediatric center, so, <clears throat> um, you know, there's babies. And I'm a dad, and I, I don't know, I'm a helicopter dad, actually. So I understand, like, especially if a kid's sick, he's in a, in a, like a carrier or something, or a car seat carrier. It, it's just polite to, you know, turn off the dingo. So I played that game, and, and that, that was me doing that, right? Just out of courtesy. Um, but it did consume time. Not a huge deal, but just still one of those things that you, next time you got to really look at your surroundings. I'll, I'll tell you this. Right now, I, I am charging about two and a half times the rock price. It's just kind of like the going rate. You know, like it's it's just one of those things. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm probably gonna bump that up to three to three times the price. It just depends on the rock. Cause there's rock that, that's a hundred hundred dollars and there's rock that's three hundred dollars a ton. So you know, it's all relative. Like maybe if it's $300 a ton, I'll just charge, you know, $300 per ton to install it. I, I don't know. Um, but that that's kind of the numbers. Like for landscaping fabric, landscape fabric is expensive. It's like 200 bucks a roll. Uh, I think that's four by, f four by 300 or 400 feet. One of those two. Um, it's expensive stuff very, very time consuming. I would probably equate two hours, you know, here and there. I, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, two hours to cutting and putting staples in the landscaping fabric. Uh, I hate it. I, I hate it. Plain and simple. Um, but man, we deal, we, we do the weed control there too, like just pulling weeds, spraying weeds, and there's just so many weeds every single week and there's a ton of beds. We put down almost 20 yards of mulch. It's a dream property. 
It really is. There's so much work. I mean, you trim the shrubs, you put mulch down, clean out weeds, the shrubs need trimmed again. And there's like, I mean, dude, there's easily, right now, even after thousands of dollars of, of, of work that we've done over the last month and a half there, you know, five, six, seven thousand dollars. <throat> somebody easily, me or anybody, could easily go in there and, and ten thousand dollars worth of work. Trimming, tree trimming, shrub trimming. I mean, there's just, it's like, you guys, it's one of those properties, you, there's just so much landscaping, it's overwhelming. Um, I mean, hundreds of bushes. Um, like I said, 20, 20 yards of mulch, and there's a ton of rock beds, too. It's like, it's awesome. It really is awesome. It's a dream property, and it needs to be kept up. Uh, they really like it to be kept up nice, so it's all good, right? Like, there is enough work in that one property. <clears throat> I, I don't know. So I'm saying, like, I don't love commercial, but that's, his, that's pretty mom and pop. As mom and pop as you can get, you know, for a company that makes a ton of money. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got money, they like it to look nice, and it's like not working for KFC. You guys know I had a bad experience with KFC. They still owe me money. If you manage, if you man, manage the um, Gladstone, Missouri, Liberty, Missouri, or Excelsior, KFC, you owe me money. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. They still owe me money three, four, five years later. I don't remember how long it's been. I won't do it. I won't. McDonald's, they won't call me, but if they did, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> you know? Walmart, none of those. None of them. I, will, I won't do a franchise like uh, that type of, that big of a company. Um, this, this company has a couple locations, but like a couple, like I, I'm really close with the management there. Um, we mow church. You guys have seen we know we mow a, another local strip mall. Um, we oh, we we mow a couple of different strip malls for like local people that own the strip mall. Um, and I think that's all the commercial we have. Um, I'm pretty sure so. Five, four, five, six commercials. I sound like Brian's Law Maintenance putting these crazy. I think we, I think we mow five or six commercial properties. But like I said, I mean, you could be there every week, and there's three, there's probably three hundred to five hundred dollars a week in work at that one property. So um, it's awesome. So that that's kind of the the deal. I, I basically work eight eight to five today. Um, just me and the dingo, I'd say I made, I don't know. I'll be real with you. You watched, if you watched this far in the video, leave me a like, subscribe. I think I made a thousand bucks by myself after, after everything. Um, I'm pretty sure that's, that's it. Like a, a little less than a thousand bucks. They went out in mode today. Um... We got lots of little rods in the fire, so not a bad day, you know? We're chugging along. There's not there's not more you could do. Um, chill day, I, I did stop. I had Jimmy John's. Um, I don't know, I, I'm happy, you know? Besides the heat, it was really hot today. Um, I, I'm, in a, I'm really happy right now. I hope you guys are too, spreading some positivity here. Uh, we got lots going on, and uh, I don't know. I'm happy. Dang it. What else do you want from me? Have a good day, guys. Um, that's it. I'm going to go see the family now, you know? So, and take a shower, a cold shower. So, that's it. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.